Hi guys, welcome back to another uh, part, <clears throat> excuse me, of the BMX build. <clears throat> um, okay, there's a couple of things, I'm just uh, keeping you guys up to date where I am so far. I have the throttle cable hooked up, I have the clutch hooked up. that's working got the carburetor tied up I have this chain here with the tensioner the tensioner has is not springed like it doesn't um, spring back and forth like you set it at one spot and it stays there I honestly don't like that so what I did is I locked the, the tensioner wheel here with two nuts make sh making sure that it moves up and down and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go over to Canadian Tire and I'm gonna buy a spring I'll grease this up here and that but I'm gonna go buy a spring and I'll attach the spring from here to here and uh, this way the tensioner can move up and down in case the, the chain needs to move so that's where I am so far. Uh, one other thing is I'm almost ready to ride it, but I don't have a chain for the pedal size side. Sorry, for the pedal side. I did have a chain, but it's all rot rusted out. So I ordered one, but that's not going to stop me. It's uh, if worse comes to worse, if the chain doesn't get here before I'm ready to ride it, I'll just push it along and then jump on it. Just a couple of words. For anyone that wants to order a kit like this for a BMX, I wouldn't advise it unless you have access to um, a MIG. There's quite a bit of modifications you have to do to put this engine in this, in this frame. And even after I painted the bike, another modification I had to do was this bar right here. If you guys can see, I had to bring it out so the chain wouldn't hit it. So, yeah. You guys already saw the other modifications I did. It's a very, The engine is a very tight fit for the spark plug, the carburetor. But yeah, you're going to have to do quite a bit of modifications because trust me, if you get one of these kits for BMX, it's not going to fit. Unless you want to mount it back here or whatever, but you're still going to have to build some kind of brackets and all that. So I'm just about ready to go. I'm gonna, I, have, I got a wiring di diagram for it. So the wires to hook up is very simple. So I'm going to hook up the wires. I'm going to go over to Canadian Tire and get um, a spring and uh i got the back brakes on oh yeah another modification i had to do for you guys for the cable the brake cable i actually had to drill a hole through this bar here to get the cable for the brakes because the engine blocks everything else over here so you can't bring the cable where it's supposed to go through this eye here. So you can't bring it through here to come down straight. So I had to route it around, drill a hole through, and that's how I'm getting the brakes to work. I really don't want to drive this without brakes. Here's another thing that I had to modify was the fuel line. This valve here is supposed to screw right into the gas tank here. But... I can't do that because if I screw it into here, it'll hit the tank and then the tank won't seat properly. So I had to go out and buy three, uh, three eight inch uh, gas line hose and with a clamp, attach it to here, then attach it to the, the shutoff valve here and then run the line. So yeah. It's just little modifications, but things that take time, so. Okay, what I did here was I welded a quarter inch bolt down here 
to the bolt of the pulley and I added a spring and hooked it up over here so it keeps tension on the chain all the time and then if the chain needs slacking off it'll just slack off itself right um, I'm glad I put the offset of the of this sprocket out because there is really not much room in between the tire and the uh, and the chain. Okay, I had uh, Dan the Ham um, comment on my last video that I was able to switch this head around. Because I had my spark plug on this side and I was afraid that with the vibration it was going to bang up against here and break the spark plug off. And he was right. Thanks, Dan. I didn't know about this, uh, these heads. So I switched it around. I just got to tighten it down. But the spark plug is a lot better over here. I just hope that this wire is good enough not to let out sparks. Because that would really, really be a big ball tickler as I'm riding. Okay. There she is, all ready to go. Um, I want to take it out for a ride, but there's actually been a lot of cops around here riding on bicycles. There's like a festival going down, on down the road, and I guess they're making sure that there's no shootings or anything happening, so... Um, as soon as I don't see them riding around for a little while, I'm gonna... Um, I'm gonna take her out. Okay, so I'm gonna take a test run and I'm gonna go down this street here and back and then maybe go around my court and everything. Um, I don't have anybody to hold the camera for me, so I have to leave it here. I'm gonna take it for a test run and uh, hopefully I did the fuel mixture right. It's supposed to be 16 to 1 to break the engine in. Um, I put about 300 milliliters of oil to 5 liters of gas. I'm hoping that's enough. I don't know. If anybody thinks it's wrong, leave a comment down below. And yeah, I'm going to see if that'll, that'll work. I'm honestly not going to push it. I'm not going to go fast. I heard these engines need to break in for a, a while with the 16 to 1 and then, we switch it, and then I switch it to uh, 21 to 1 or 20 to 1. So I'm not going to push it. I'm just going to make sure that the, that the bike is working. Easy, easy! This guy was killed himself. <laughs> you need something with four wheels. <laughs> yeah, I think he's got to get something with four wheels. Yeah. Okay, so I'm happy it works. Um. Like I said, I didn't push it. I'm gonna break it in for a little while. Uh, the only problem that I have, and thank goodness that's the only problem, is the throttle. You guys remember on the last video I said about the pin, the little plastic pin? Well, this freaking throttle, when you give it throttle, it, it intends to move back and forth and I can't tighten it anymore. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill a hole through here and put a bolt with a nut. To hold it and once I break it in 
I want to show you guys what I have. So this is what I got. LTC GPS HUD speedometer. So it does not it doesn't take any batteries, but you can plug it in with this cord to a U, UBS plug. So you can hook it to a, a UBS adapter or anything for it to work. But what I have, I have a few um, phone chargers and everything by, by battery. Like it's got a battery in it and everything. So what I'll do is I'll hook this up to it. And uh, I'm going to do a test run on the go-kart with this thing. The sexy machine. Again. With the converter and with the converter modified. I don't trust that uh, GPS system that uh, I got on the phone. So what I'm going to do to make sure that this is reliable, I'm going to um, hook this up to, to the car, make sure that it reads exactly the same as the vehicle does, and then I'll test it on the sexy machine, and I'm going to test it on this bike as soon as I break it in. So, Dan, thanks for letting me know about... Uh, switching that head I didn't know I had to switch that I, I was able to switch the head around I did it and it worked fine no more problems with the spark plug worried anyway about it hitting the the frame that's our David Johnson cheers guys almost time to get another one